Hey Raiders, welcome back to another Live Arena Battle video. This video will feature 15 fights and 8 wins. As I get started here, this these first fights were pretty painful. I suffered through a lot of beatings, and this first one wasn't really one of them, but I really got fortunate that this person gave me a win, because I wouldn't have won this battle. So they pick Sifi first, I go Wukong, and Necret, preparing for the strategy I was working on yesterday of fighting through cooldowns. So I see Taurus, so I'm going to go ahead and go with Helicath, who's kind of a flex champion. He can do a little bit of damage. He's full crit rate, in stone skin, and has decent speed. I'll go Duchess as my Sifu replacement and see what he goes with next. He goes with Yumiko and Leorius. Tormund or Ragash would typically be my main ones here, but I decided to go with a Nithway, thinking he would go ahead and ban a Nithway. And he did. I did not ban his Yumiko. He puts me on cooldown. And things get started. The main thing is... I'm hoping that Leorius is not a big damage dealer without damage on him already, and then I just don't touch him. If I'm on cooldowns, all I have is single target hits anyway. So I ban the target, Taurus, and I don't really have a win condition here. He knows it, or at least he should know it. I know it. My big hope is that I can take out everyone except Marichka and then have, say, Wukong up. And he left the battle. I was actually really surprised he left the battle like that because I think the reason he did it is he's used to a lot of quick fights where people ban the Yumiko and he just destroys them. And this one was going to drag on for a little bit, so he went ahead and gave it to me, said, I don't need this win. Which was nice, because I really did need the win with how these next several fights are going to go. So the second fight, I get the first pick, and they go Warlord. So I'm going to fight through cooldowns here. So I have Sifi, Ragash, Necret. I feel pretty good about this one. And they go Wukong and Rodos. And the Wukong appears to be damage, but that's tough to say. So I'm going to go Gofrit to counter Rodos, And... I thought about banning Rodos, but I have him countered with Goffred, so I'm going to get rid of Raka. And I have two defensive damagers. And I'm on cooldown. Let's see what Wukong does. He sheeps my Ragash. Harima hop softens up my Necret. And then Ragash is vulnerable, but I do have the one save. And I'm working back around, and I may get a chance to protect somebody. So there's the save on Ragash. Take out the Monkey King, but he'll be back. So that's unfortunate. Try to get the Provoke on Rodos and can't get it. Take out the Monkey King again. Go for Rodos. Go to protect Ragash. Actually, I don't protect Ragash. And Rodos kills Ragash. My thought there was Rodos, gonna kill, Rodos was going to kill Ragash through protection anyway. And then that one pretty much ended me quickly. So my first loss on the day, I'm 1-1. One one. On to the next fight. Somebody pretty high up. So I'm getting hit hard. Pretty high up in gold, two looking to finish off Quintus. I go with Sifi. They go Wukong and Ultimate Death Knight. It appears to be maybe a hybrid build. I believe that's the... Uh, the Awakening that helps your A1 debuffs land and gives you attack. So I'm going with Tormin and Necret. I think the big thing is when I go with Tormin, I really need to have multiple champions another champion besides Sifi that can do increased defense. 
So I go Ragash. I'm going to fight through cooldowns, it looks like. Because I'm probably going to go ahead and ban that Wukong. I think I've got the right team set up here, and we'll see, see what he goes with next. He goes with Duchess, I'm going to ban the Wukong. So I'm going to ban the Wukong. The Wukong must have been at least heavy on damage in the hybrid build, or a full damage build. Everybody in stone skin except Harima. And now Warlord used up his stone skin. Softens up the Necret. The problem with this team, though, is that once somebody drops, we're all A1s, we don't have a reviver. See if he can at least get back to revive pretty quickly. She'll get to it before Warlord puts me on cooldown again, but with no reviver and on cooldowns, you need to be able to destroy them with your A1s, or at least take out their damagers quickly, and that's not what I'm doing here. I do get my ally attack with Necret, and then I'm going to protect the Tormund, and maybe I should have protected the Mithrala. But things are looking pretty good at this point. I'm well protected, doing some damage, trying to take out that Duchess, took out the Warlord. She's going to bring the Warlord back. This fight's actually looking pretty good on my side, but this Duchess, I just can't seem to finish off. It seems like the A1 from Ragash is not doing any damage to her. And there goes my Mithrala, so I have to work quickly here. Duchess needs to die, or I'm not going to get this done, and I still can't get it. Still can't get it. She is at like 1 HP, and we're on cooldown again. If I had gotten Duchess there, it would have been over. Warlord heals, and now it looks like I don't have a shot. It's unfortunate because I was so close on that fight. Necret falls, and then it's pretty much over. Still can't get the Duchess killed. The defense on that Duchess must have been insane. So I leave the battle 1 and 2 on the day so far. I felt like I should have had that one, but just finishing off that Duchess seemed like it was impossible. So this one's level 96, but almost to gold 3. They'll go Duchess Harima. I have Sifi. I'll go Ragash because he counters them both really well, so he's my first choice. I've been kind of getting... Well, actually, I decided to go for Wukong. I was going to say that I've been getting away from choosing Wukong so automatically. And there's the Warlord. Maybe if I had picked Warlord in this fight, I would have had a better shot, a chance, but I don't know. So I go through my fight through Warlord team. And it'll be Harima. Maybe I ban the Duchess. Yeah, I'm going to ban the Duchess. And the Ronda is going to be the problem. So they ban my Sifi. I have two champions in there that re self-revive through their passive, and they have Ronda, who can ignore the shield. So Harima gets petrified, but Ronda takes out Tormund, and that's a problem. So my main consistent source of damage, because Tormund can counterattack, at least in my setup, Mithrala's almost gone, so they dealt with me pretty quickly. Wukong and Necrat won't be able to finish this on their own. That would take a lot. So, I do kind of let things run their course. I haven't been just exiting battles, although I did at that point because Wukong wasn't going to do it alone. So, searching for the next fight. This one's going to go to a full minute because I lost three in a row. But 
since I'd gotten up to 3219, I think it would take five fights to drop back down into gold one this time. But I'm well on my way. So get back in there and try and get another fight. So this time we've got someone who's midway through gold two. I go Seafy first. And Taurus and Kaimar. I go Necret and Wukong. Even though Wukong self-revives, I've kind of gotten to the point where I think if I'm going to try and fight through cooldowns, Wukong is not ideal. And so that's why I've shied away from picking him. So at this one, I'm looking at probably banning the Ramon too. And seeing how it goes with the Kaimar. And Tremaria, I see her so rarely that I don't even remember what she does. I think she revives, but I'm not actually sure. So Kaimar sleeps us. And Seafy's gone. That was quick. It was very quick with CV, and then Tremaria stuns, so that's what Tremaria does, and then Duchess is gone. So they got rid of my, they were fortunate to strip both my stone skin with Kaimar, and then I get over gaming. <laughs> He's quite a bit better than I am, and I know that for sure, so I don't really expect to have much of a chance. I am going to play my regular game and see how it turns out, but I, <laughs> I don't expect to even be close on this one. If you haven't seen his channel, you should check it out, Over Gaming TV. He plays this account, but he also plays the Doc Moreau account. So, I'm picking my fight through cooldowns. He's got Helicath, that's an interesting pick, and it looks like his Wukong is support. So, Wukong is a great counter to Helicath, but... When you have both Helicath and Wukong, then that makes it kind of hard. So then he goes Cardial. So he's pretty confident in this team. I'm going to ban the Helicath because I don't know what I'm going to do with everybody blocked block damage. He's going to ban the Warlord. So I have CV Tormen. I mean, I've got a good team. But we'll see how this goes. And Ragash gets sheeped. So I'm going to protect the Seafy because I don't want her dead. Ragash is back. I think that is a pretty fast Cardial. And if Cardial's that fast, he's just going to keep putting up those revive on deaths. And this will be an unkillable team for me. And meanwhile, they're working me down. Necret's gone. Ragash is gone. And I have to decide who I'm going to pick back up, and it's going to be Necret. Because i got to get that protection back on Seafy, and then maybe she can get back around. They have shields. I mean, there's not much I can do. I'm actually kind of surprised that I lasted two minutes, going on three. So they stun my Seafy. I finally get a, her back to protection, and then they sheep her. So that... Support Wukong is really annoying. Necret's dead again. Tormund's dead for good. And then Seafy is too. So that'll knock me back down into gold one. And that puts me at one and five on the day. So I'll see who I get for gold one. He's about midpoint gold one. A little less than midpoint. I go Seafy first. They go Mighty Uko and Pytheon. I'm looking at banning the Mighty Uko. He's... Really annoying. They go, Helicath, and I don't understand the ninja pick. I, I don't understand that at all. What is ninja going to do in this fight? So, I thought about putting Tormund in that last spot, but just put Errol in. I'm going to ban the Mighty Yuko. Of course, if they go with something like a Yumiko, then I would have been in trouble, but they go Tormund. But I have... 
I'm not too concerned about his freezes. So I banned the Mighty Yuko. They banned the Wukong. But banning Wukong leaves me Warlord, so I just put them all on cooldown. Ally attack the Pytheon. Want to get him out of there. Kill the Ninja, then kill the Pytheon, and they'll leave the battle. So that gets me back into gold 2, and that puts me at 2 and 5 on the day. And not very hard-earned wins, at least not for gold 2. I mean, gold 1 is what it is. So I got a gold 1 win, and I got a gold 2 gimme, because he just didn't want to sit around and wait to beat me. So on to fight number 8. They go Harima first, I go Sifi, and I go Wukong. Just kind of at this midpoint of I'm not sure which strategy to take, and I think that's hurting me. Getting beat so badly in that first set of fights in Gold 2. So I'm setting up to fight through the Warlord, which they can probably tell by the Mithrala. I put the, the Torment in there. Do I ban the Elva or do I ban the Harima? That's a tough one. I guess I ban the the Harima. It's not what I meant. I meant the uh, Marichka. And I ban the Marichka. So that'll be tough because Elva is going to put up that perfect veil on the champion with the lowest HP. So I want to make sure I don't hit her first. So they, she puts it on somebody else, and I can try and take her out. So if you're this player, you got to be feeling pretty good. I'll start off by sleeping her, but then I probably should have not done that. That was just kind of an odd thing, but yeah. I think adjust, it's it's a big adjustment to fighting through Warlord. I had some decent success to end yesterday, and I only did five fights yesterday. And this one started off okay, but it is a big adjustment when you've never done that before. So if you're looking to try to build a fight through cooldowns team, it is, there's a learning curve. Warlord is such a good support overall, though, because of that heal that he does the shield and the block debuffs for one turn it's only one turn but it, he's pretty good as a support in addition to his cooldowns he puts me on cooldown again i mean i've got them down in hp so it makes me think i do have a shot at this a thrall of buffs again i try to use sifi in this situation to heal and they're really working on my necret if they can get to my Necret and just put me on cooldown, then they've got a good chance of winning this. This first part of the battle, I was pretty much in control, but then it just starts slipping away as they chip away at Necret. Then he's gone. I'm one turn away on Sifi, but he puts me on cooldown. Oh, I thought he would put me on cooldown again here. but So I should be able to get Necret back. But Warlord goes in front of me because of the increased speed from Elva, and so I didn't get Necret back. And now they've worked down my... Well, then they take me out. So that one slipped away pretty quickly. I felt like I was in the fight, but then I just dropped it. So that's 2 and 6 on the day so far. If I lose this one, I drop back down into Gold 1 for the second time today. They go Sifi first, I go Warlord, or do I? I do go Warlord Wukong, so I'm just kind of losing confidence in the fight through Warlord, fight through cooldown strategy, and go back to what was working for me in Gold 1. They've got Duchess Sifi. I go Necret. And then I'm just trying to decide do I want the last support or do I want the last damager? I'm going to go Ultimate Death Knight versus Rhodos. See who they go with last. I think I end up banning the C the Duchess here, and I should have banned the Sifi. And I look at the Valkyrie and the Hefrak, I'm like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Valkyrie's always a weird pick, but I should have banned the Sifi. 
I did ban the Duchess. And that was a mistake right there. If I'd banned the Sifi, I might have been able to get to a Nithway. But see how it goes. See if he sleeps my Warlord. Yeah, Warlord would have put them on cooldown, so I would have won that one if I'd banned the Seafy. I don't know why I thought ban the Duchess. And I might not have had the accuracy to put the Duchess on cooldown, but who knows if I would have had the accuracy on Seafy either. But yeah, this I'm pretty sure this would have been a win if I had just banned the Seafy, which would have been the smart play. So I fall to 2-7 on the day and back down into gold 1. And this is my last fight of this set of five tokens versus a level 97 who's about the midpoint of gold one and uses their first pick on Mithrala. So I go Sifi Wukong. They have Eryx and Ultimate Death Knight. See who... I'm just going with my standard group at this point. Just see who I want to pick for my last support. And they go Cardinal. I'm going to ban, end up banning the Cardinal because she's the Reviver. I don't like banning Cardinal, but I don't have an Anithway in this team, so... Ban the Cardinal. See how it goes. I should be able to put him on cooldown. And if they build their Cardinal like I do mine, then... She would have really high resistance. So everybody's on cooldown except Mithrala. And all I gotta do is work on taking them out. So steal the buffs off of Eryx and then hit Ultimate Death Knight's Stone Skin. But that gives me two turns of increased attack. And just keep working through it. Killed a Mithrala. Almost got the Eryx, but not quite. Eryx can be really annoying because you can have her almost dead, but then she'll heal on every single crit. So, just kind of waiting until that ultimate death knight gets off stone skin. Steal his buffs, except for stone skin. Protect the Seafy. Yeah, this fight is pretty much won. It's just taking forever to finish it. Eric's was able to get off the buff, but then I take him out. So at the end of this set of 10, I take a break. I'm back in gold 2, but Live Arena was going to close within the minute anyway. So that puts me at, I think, 3 wins, 7 losses on 10 fights. Rank 2,000, and 2,000, that means 2,000 people are in Gold 2 now, whereas it was around 12 to 1,400 with 2,000 people around the outside. So then I come back later, and I decide to spend my last five tokens. And at this point, I'm just kind of hoping, <laughs> don't get destroyed like I did earlier. So Shuzen Sifi, that, if that's not an imposing name, and they don't pick either Shuzen or Sifi to start the fight. They pick Wukong, and it looks like it is a support Wukong. I think if you pick first, though, if you don't pick Wukong, you can be pretty much assured that if the other team relies on Wukong, they will get Wukong. So I am gearing up to fight through cooldowns, and there is no cooldown. I have two defense champions, two defense damagers, and then I go Helicath. To maybe guard against the Taurus. I'm going to ban that Wukong. Even though they have two revivers. And they're both kind of annoying. They'll ban the Helicath. So I go with the defense aura. To try to make them hit a little harder. And see if he's pretty good at cleansing that fear. From Taurus. Not with Warlord. Because usually they're going to either ban the Warlord. Or the Seafy. And so I don't have them both together. So, just start working on them. They've got my Necret kind of low to begin with, and I can't do much. So I'm starting to think, hmm, this may not work out so well for me. 
but it's going okay. If if they take out start doing some damage on the neck then I might be in trouble. But I got Elva pretty low. Duchess is not low, but I'll A run her farther down. Try and get the Elva a little lower, and if I can do a good AoE. Of course, the Duchess now has healed up a little bit. Elva is just a really good support. Try and take him out, but I only get the Duchess. I can't sleep. Oh, but I got her gone on a counterattack, so he left the battle. So I got fairly lucky there, but I also did work him down pretty well. So this one that's really almost to gold three, I legitimately beat after going, I think, one and seven in gold two earlier. So gold two is, you just don't know what you're going to get in it. So see who I get for the next fight. So I was three and seven on the day, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I grinded out the last mastery on Tormin, and I need to go ahead and purchase it. So I got the increase in A1 damage the more you use it. So Tormin now has all masteries, and I got Tastian. Interestingly enough, after this fight, I saw a clan invite, and it was from this guy's clan, to which he is a deputy. So he's just into gold, too, as well. But he's got Taurus. And because he's just into gold, too, I'm going with my gold one style. And I go Seafy Warlord and Wukong. So looking at this right now, I ban either the Duchess or the Ultimate Death Knight. I don't remember what that... I think that's the HP champion. But yeah, I'm going to end up banning the Kaimar, because he's a good counter to Helicath. And yeah, they ban my Warlord. So, see how this one goes. Alright, buff up. I can put on the block damage. And he's going to keep buffing. Right now, I'm just setting up for the big the big hit, but I have block damage on, so, so far, no damage off anybody, I checked to check for, uh, sheep, ooh, and that AoE from Helicath almost took out their ally protector, and then just one hit on Duchess did take her out, so Duchess will bring her back, and then I'll work on Duchess, if I can get Duchess dead, and the Allied Protector is dead again. I'll bring back my Wukong. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. And it was a mistake. I brought back the Wukong thinking I could just kill the Duchess. And I forgot about Ultimate Death Knight again. I'm always forgetting about Ultimate Death Knight. It's like Ultimate Death Knight stands there and doesn't do much of anything. Until you do a, try to do a single target hit. <laughs> but still working on that Duchess. Steal some buffs, do the AoE again. If I can just get Duchess out of there to the AoE, she's almost gone. It's painfully slow trying to kill these Duchesses today. Still like one HP and I can't get it done. She brings back that HP champion again. Buff up, but I got the ultimate Death Knight gone and now Duchess is gone. I can't remember if this HP champion has a revive. But then I'm able to... Taurus takes out my Seafy, and I take out Taurus pretty quickly, though. And then I just finish off that champion. So that's three straight wins, and two straight in gold two. And this one's mid gold two. So some people will pick Taurus first, because they want to make sure you don't get Taurus. There's not as many people with Taurus, but they definitely want to make sure that they have their main damage champion. So I go Sifi and Ragash because Ragash is great at countering Taurus. And they go Rhodos and UDK. I almost called him Warlord again. I have this problem of calling Rhodos Warlord. Not really sure why I do that. 
I go Helicath because he is a great Taurus counter. And I go Goffred because he's a great Rotos counter. And then looking at this, I'm looking at the Kaimar, like I should probably ban the Kaimar, but then I realize, no, Brogni's the one that's going to buff up. So I've got to ban the Brogni. And I put in Tormund. So we'll see how this one goes. We get started, and they go first, and Kaimar sleeps two of us, but does not take the stone skin off either of my stone skin champs. So see if he's able to buff up. Taurus doesn't do any damage, and I immediately am able to stun three of them. Do some damage with Ragash, not a lot, but it's something. Buff up some more with Goffred. Try to go for the... I do the strip, and the, the one of the double hitters goes on Rotos, so I take him out. Taurus tries to drop the hammer, and he only gets us all to about half HP, which was considerable. And then I still had the Goffred passive still, after I took out Kaimar. So things are looking pretty good. I'm controlling Taurus pretty well, I think at this point, and I stun Taurus again, so I still have the stun up on Goffred too. So at this point, I'm just trying to take out that ultimate Death Knight. And he's gone. Stun him again. Just work him down, buff up. Keep going, try to get the... I got a Polymorph, that's kind of funny. He tries to take out the Seafy, doesn't quite get it, and then he leaves. So, another strong fight for me. I don't understand how I just won three in a row when I could not buy a win earlier. So I'm six and seven on the day with two more fights to go. Get back into it, see who I get. Mutaber. And this guy was pretty frustrating. It seems as though his fighting strategy is to take the full 30 seconds every single turn, no matter what's going on, and to drag the fight on. So I'm looking at this like, do I ban the Uko? But that's a support build on Wukong, it looks like. So I probably need to ban the Wukong. And I am going to go with Warlord as my last pick here. Because I know Warlord is going to be faster than Mighty Uko. But I have to ban the Wukong. Warlord will get the fear from Taurus right off the bat, though. So if I win the 50%, they ban the CP as I kind of expected. If I win the 50% on fear, I should put them on cooldown. I don't know if I'll get the Duchess. And I do get the Duchess. I get everybody. And since they banned my Seafy, there was no stone skin for Uko to steal. And I'm doing pretty well so far. I gotta keep that Crutraxa from getting a, a turn. And I kill her and she respawns. And so I take out the Mighty Uko, take out the Crutraxa. Now i got to work on that Duchess and see if I can keep her from reviving. Usually I can with Duchess. I can get him back on cooldown, but I think in this fight I wasn't able to. So at this point I, I kind of I get Taurus lower and I have that decreased defense on him, so I start looking at him. And this is where he starts taking the full 30 seconds every single turn. And he gets revived back, but then I put them on cooldown. And I get sheeped by my Tormin for putting Freeze on Mighty Uko. So I look at who had sheep a little bit late, but it's okay. So I take out the Taurus. Everybody's on cooldown. I want to get that Duchess out of there. I want to get that Crutrax out of there, too. If she goes for my Necret, she might be able to take him out. I don't think she can take out anybody. That's why I protected the Warlord. So get the Duchess out of there. And again, he's taking the full 30 seconds. So go ahead and get the Crutraxa gone. And now all I gotta do is deal with Mighty Uko. 
again, just... And then he leaves the battle. So I was kind of surprised with that. I thought he was going to make me kill his mighty Yuko. So that's five straight wins, four straight in gold two. I just, I'm baffled at this point. And I, each win, I'm like, I, maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. So I have one more and I go into it. Personal best of 3321 ranking points now. And I get somebody pretty high up. He's mid to high gold two. And he's finished platinum, so again, I'm thinking he must know what he's doing. He picks Ultimate Death Knight and Wukong. And I go Sifi, Necret, and Ragash. Ragash counters both of them pretty well. Except for when Wukong sheeps Ragash. And I'm looking at this as that's probably a support Wukong. Duchess and Rodos. I'm going to go Goffred to counter Rodos. I'm looking at banning the Wukong at this point, so I don't know who else they're going to pick. I'm going to go a Nithway, and that's a big gamble because if they go Yumiko, I can't fight through cooldowns. They go Arbiter, and I think for a second about banning her, but Rodos can't kill through Goffred. So I'm going to ban the Wukong. They ban the Necret. And it would have been smarter to ban the Goffred. But I think so few of people see Goffred that they don't realize he's a better counter to Rodos than Necret is. So right off the bat, he goes for a Nithway. He had blocked e buff stuff, so he didn't get stunned. Go for a hit with Ragash to kind of get him lower. And then go for the A3, which triggers a counterattack from Rodos, and then another hit from Rodos. So it's not looking great, but I'm going to bring him back probably a little early. Arbiter's going to speed boost, and then I have a fear on and decrease attack, but I'm going to take out the Arbiter. I can't take out the Rodos yet, but the Arbiter's gone. And the Rodos is low. And because I have Ragash in the team, Ragash put up the perfect veil on the highest attack champion, that's a Nithway, and so Rodos was stuck hitting either Sifi or Goffred. So I was able to get the AoE again and took out Rodos, and that finished it off 5-0, five, oh, five straight wins in gold 2, and I finished off the day at 8-7, and seven. somehow salvaged the day. So hope you enjoyed the video and take care.